what's up guys and thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it a uh, little change of scenery i'm trying to enjoy the last couple days of good weather and i'm in a different location today but i decided it was it's such a good day that i'm gonna take one of my a couple of my big girls uh for spain uh this is my x8 drone not to confuse with a cine lifter uh, this is not a cine lifter and if you try to figure out what's the difference between a x8 and a cine lifter uh, the only thing they have a comment is that they do have eight motors but cine lifter on general are a lot more complex drone specifically designed to fly heavy load uh, i'll be using my gopro 8 on this guy and even the frame of the cine lifter is literally a lot more complex than what I got here. Uh, this is just a regular frame. It is a six inch frame that I was able to convert into a X configuration, X8 configuration. And I use those little adapter. You may have seen them. Uh, those are 3D printed. They are designed by Roto Riot. Uh, the pretty much allow you to convert any regular frame into a X8 frame. Uh, so now before I go any further in this video, I uh, need to address one of the questions I'm pretty sure someone's gonna ask me is what's the point of building an X8 drone? Well, I would say it's pretty much the same point of building any drone, it's just fun. Uh, I actually like the challenge of X8, I wanted to see if i'll be able to build one and i did build one uh, if there's any benefit of having an x8 i'll say the only benefit of having an x8 compared to a regular drone is just that it allows you to carry heavier load it is not so much affected by weight uh, like having this gopro on top of this drone or not having the gopro on top the drone still fly exactly the same but i have to admit that this is not a build for everybody uh, there's a couple of things that kind of go against building an x8 uh, one or uh, i'll say the most major one is that those are pretty expensive build uh, this all build cost me a little more than 500 bucks even though i use a cheap frame uh, this is a clone of the QAVR frame from Luminaire. Uh, this frame only cost me 25 bucks. But everything else that went in the build ended up costing the total build to be more than 500 bucks. So it's not cheap to build. As far as flat goes, uh, it flies just like any other drone. It does not fly better or worse than any other drone, uh, any other regular drone. Uh, if you're building one of those and thinking you get it to fly better, uh, it's just gonna do as any other drone does uh, it's going to be depending on how well you tune your drone it's going to be depending on the electronic you use if you use copy electronic uh, use copy motor it's not going to fly as good if your tune is not good it's not going to fly as good so pretty much all the principles that apply to any regular drone to get them to fly good does apply to an x8 as far as efficiency if you're thinking you're going to get a more efficient drone by having eight motor uh, it is really not that much more efficient I got those two batteries on it right now and those are 1800 million batteries and I get about 10 to 11 minutes of flight time efficiency wise it's pretty similar to a 7 inch drone let me go over what I use pretty much for this build uh, I cannot touch up the frame already uh, this is just a regular 6 inch frame uh, copy or clone of the QAVR from Luminaire. Uh, good frame, pretty good as far as uh, vibration goes. Uh, the model I'm using uh, the Brother OB Avenger 2, and those are 1500 kV models. Very, very good model, very smooth model, plenty of power. And as far as the prop goes, uh, those are event props. Uh, they're supposed to be the long range props that's what i'm using those to give me a little bit more efficiency uh they fly good on by blade actually they actually fly better on tire blade props but i just keep those because i don't know i just like the sound to make video wise i'm using a vista with the polo camera as far as flight controller, I do have a H7, and this is the Lumia H7. It's the one that has the double connector for your ESCs. 
and I got two of them, of course. And the double connector actually does help to make a much uh, easier build. Uh, top ESC is connected to the four top motor, and the bottom ESC is connected to the four bottom motor. For receiver, I'm using my AP model. I got two low ESR capacitor in the front, uh, one for each uh, ESC. Uh, I can actually fly with either two or one batteries, but uh, with one battery flat, I'm really suck. So that's why I have the two batteries. I do have a GPS module, and this is used to record my speed. And that is pretty much it, guys. Now, let's take it off for a flight. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. I got 23 satellites. That is amazing. So, let's take off. I love the way this thing sounds. Let me get a low pass so you can hear the thing. And we got some beautiful color, trees starting to change color. Got a nice little view here. It's a beautiful place. Now, tuning this drone, strange enough, it wasn't that hard. I'm using Betafly 3.4 on it. And he actually did fly pretty okay with the stop tune of Betafly. But I had to make a couple little changes on a tune to get to fly the way I want. But overall, it did fly good with the stock tune. I love the way it sounds. Now this is clearly not meant to be flown the way I'm doing it right now. But can pick up speed pretty quick. You think about it with us AVDs, when you pick up speed, it doesn't really feel like it's going that fast. Now, quad now, my GPS is saying I'm about 30 miles. Is it 30 miles? Oh, yeah. 41 kilometers, so I'm not going too fast. And again, this is a public park. I'm not trying to run into anybody. I've seen people earlier walking by, so I'm trying to be as careful and as safe as possible. Now you're getting an idea as far as closing. This thing is sweet. The wind is actually starting to pick up. I don't know what the speed is right now, but usually the wind does not affect this guy at all. Now, it is loud. Because right now I'm about, what, 200 meters away from myself? It is loud, but with those vibe blade, it's not a usually sound that drone make. It's not like screeching noise that usually drone made, tri blade pop made. It's more like a bass sound, so it's not too allow. It's not too annoying, but definitely, oh yeah, it's not a quiet drone. <laughs> I 
That's just loud the way this thing flies. Now my rate actually pretty low. for just some closing now you may have seen that I'm pretty much like in a small how you call it island I don't know how you call this I got water on or every side of where I'm flying right now I'm not trying to go over water because I've lost about three drones in the rivers because I that I love to fly over water and I'm not trying to lose this guy it was expensive enough to make and with my GoPro on top if I drop in water I'm talking about at least a thousand bucks so I'm not trying to lose that but look at the view guys trees changing color and I say within a couple weeks all those trees are gonna be completely orange or red or different ton of red so that'll be pretty beautiful i may come back here and just make a flyby so you guys can see how the tree change color but yes guys Woo. so funny thing is um let me come back i'll show you <laughs> where I am. I think you seen when I took off. Yeah, that's where I'm sitting. I'm way right beyond this tree. And it's some type of fruit tree. I don't know what kind of type of fruit it is. But those fruit are just keep dropping or falling. As it doesn't hit me in the head. battery wise I am 22 so I still have some flight on it as I usually just do we got all the ducks I don't want to scare you duckies yeah they should go slow I don't know if there is anyone walking in the path here There's those guy walking on a boat. There's a boat ramp. So we try to stay away from them. We got. There was a lot more people earlier. I think some people may have left already. But that is pretty much it, guys, for this video. It's gonna give you a quick look on my x8 kind of giving an idea of fly a pretty good build but i would say it's not a build for everybody but if you want something different you want to challenge yourself on building something a little more challenging i would say the x8 is not a bad build but it is an expensive build that for sure it is an expensive build I'll uh, give you a little panoramic view of East Tennessee and I will see you on the next video guys.